In the 17 years since it launched, the Assassin's Creed series has taken fans all over the world from ancient Greece to Victorian London. Fans got their first glimpse of Assassin's Creed Shadows based in the late 15th century Japan with the CGI cinematic trailer that introduced dual protagonist Naoi, a female ninja, and Yasuke, who's based on a real-life figure often referred to as, quote, the African Samurai. Let's go ahead and take a look at the characters now. I thought we learned that we should show gameplay in these trailers, Ubisoft. Not Ubisoft, clearly not. Uh, you know, they don't want to go in on another uh, damage control, <laughs> not on day one of the release of the trailer. But, you know, this trailer clearly, uh, or not clearly, uh, was it evident after all? But, you know, it generated lots of backlash from gamers and just non-gamers alike on YouTube. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, we got a screenshot of, you know... <sighs> Not just in the United States, we got, you know, the Japan trailer, we also got IGN on here, GameSpot, you got PlayStation, Ubisoft's YouTube channel, I mean, it just across the board, Brazil, it's just amazing to see so many thumbs down when... It's rough. <laughs> we, is it because of the CGI trailer? No, it's actually not. I mean, gamers are actually criticizing the choice of Yasuke as a main character over a Japanese protagonist. And clearly you can see from you know the reviews, it's not being handled well. And opponents have accused those critics of having been racist and have pointed out that Yasuke is based on a real life person. So gamers wasted no time responding to the announcement of Assassin's Creed Shadows with the following. So of course we dived in, we wanted to hear from gamers around the world. And the first comment that we have here is the idea of an, a black assassin in Japan completely negates the idea of hiding in public. Okay. That, I get it. That's pretty <laughs> funny. I heard this guy I was mean, a yeah, massive he's stick dude. out. He's going to yeah. really stick out. That's like me, dude. Like when I recently went to Japan a couple years back, when you're blonde with blue eyes and you're six, five, you stick out like your dog, Dick red. I get it. There's a, <laughs> you know, there's not too many black people in Japan, but he was from manuscripts that I've seen. He was a slave taken in from a warlord and acted upon as a samurai. This guy was a badass mofo. But the thing is Ubisoft has already created another video explaining that they wanted to highlight the two social classes, one being the Shinobi, being with the, the female ninja, which also holds more of the stealthy attributes that we all know about Assassin's Creed. And for Yasuke, he is implementing more along the ropes of Valhalla. Like, that's really cool. I like that premise because I can't imagine a samurai being too stealthy. And don't you kind of feel like, Henrik, in a sense that they didn't want to pull off another Ghost of Tsushima? <laughs> like, that game was already created, already made. Yeah, they. I mean, if they tried copying Ghost of Tsushima, it's not going to go well because it wouldn't be as good as that. And it yes. would only just compare it to Ghost of Tsushima, which that's just setting the game up for failure. Oh, yeah, so big time. Good idea to not do a copy, at least. Definitely cultural misappropriation. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and, and, you know, disrespect of the Japanese culture and history. Uh, you know, The Office, shame on you, I guess. No, I'm just, oh, wait, wait, we we're talking about Assassin's Creed Shadows. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, gotcha. So <laughs> we've been doing cultural misappropriation for a long time, I guess, on TVs, movies, television, podcasts, and you name it. Um, the next comment that we got here is... is the Japanese are clear racist, and I applaud them. Okay, that was <laughs> your open racist here. Uh, why is everyone so sensitive lately? Who cares? It's a game. I agree. Like, can we just judge it by the story and the gameplay before we ever start delving in over being mad about a character that you have no idea about? <laughs> can we just judge it by that? The only good Assassin's Creed games were the ones with Ezio. Yeah, I kind of feel you on that one. But that kind of deviates away from the conversation. And last, uh, Yasuke could be a very good idea for a DLC character or expansion game, not as the main character. Why? <laughs> that makes 
no sense. Okay, <laughs> me personally, I feel that the first Fourier into Japan by Assassin's Creed should have been a Japanese character. A golden opportunity was missed by not hiring the gentleman that was just recently in Shogun. I'm not going to butcher his name because I feel like I'm about to do that right now. So I am refusing to say the actor's name. I know someone's going to clown me in the chat, <laughs> but he's an amazing actor. Super, super cool. But like Henrik, Ubisoft's year has been rougher than a pirate's beard after a storm with Skull and Bones still lost at sea, X Deviant's launch day suffering server issues, and now Assassin's Creed Shadows sneaking up on them like a stealthy assassin with a grudge. I mean, what do you make of this fiasco? Did you feel like this is all going to be forgotten within a couple of weeks or will this carry on all the way until day one of the launch? Well, here's the thing. Everyone's making the argument Assassin's Creed needs to be historically accurate. Guys, <laughs> have you played the Assassin's Creed game? The games are not historically accurate. There's science fiction Wait. in the first game you're telling me when that i did the quest when you're telling me that when i was doing the quests for william shakespeare or george washington you're telling me that <laughs> those things did not happen he did not meet up with an assassin is that what I you're mean, trying to tell I, me i think i've i've read that in the history books <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean that's just, why i, I it's feel just like a little silly you know like come on guys yeah maybe you know it's a little confusing one way or the other because you go to the wikipedia page and it's constantly being edited about this guy because everyone wants to have their own say in whether he was actually a samurai or not. But yeah. come on, like he he's loosely based off of a character at the very end of the day because they're not going to follow his story to the T like it was in the history. Because yeah. if they did that, then they would be having a different game on their hands. They but wouldn't I be just... having an Assassin's Creed game. But I just laugh that like a lot of people are like, oh, you know, this is Western culture, you know, bleeding in their DEI requirements. Does people realize like where Ubisoft's located, <laughs> you know, in Europe? So that's one thing. Also, uh, people need to keep in mind that there have been Japanese developed games in the past, like Samurai Warriors 5 and Neo, which do feature the African samurai in game. So I just don't True, understand yeah. why this is now such a problem for Ubisoft. I mean, some fans are accusing the African samurai of not being real and calling him a retainer, but some historians have argued that a retainer is still a samurai. And so whether you want to have that debate or not, uh, you know, I think is fair. And Ubisoft this clearly came out in numerous videos, hyping up the video game that, they're not pretending that they know everything about him. And to give people an idea what a retainer was, they were usually like a samurai offering military services. You know, he was, uh, you know, an African descent showing up on an island in Japan as a slave to another you know, they say that he had links to Portugal, was probably a slave to Portugal or a Portuguese man or woman, who knows, man mostly, and, you know, basically was sold off to a warlord and maybe he was just a badass mofo and slaying fools and that's why his story has been written in very few minute manuscripts. I mean, that's why there is a story of a gentleman like this and even on the website, Henrik, Ubisoft said that creators decided to include Yasuke in the game because they wanted a samurai character whose story was open-ended enough to allow for creativity. Also mm. adding that there are still plenty of questions and speculations surrounding the African samurai. So they're not pretending that they're, you know, this is historically correct as you joked, like right at the top. You gotta take every single video game for a grain of salt, just like how we read news on TikTok or Twitter or X or Google News or Meta, wherever you get your news of delivery. Yeah, and and I I'm open to it being a good game. We haven't even seen any gameplay yet, so yeah, can't really judge whether it's gonna be good or not in that respect. Yeah, we'll have to no. see. Well, I know no, no. there's going to be a lot of hate at launch day, though. That's going to definitely stick around. We'll just have to see if that gets slapped in the face of the haters if it's a good game, though. I'm just, like, always amazed with, like, certain energy that can go so viral. And, like, yeah, trust me, like, uh, you know, this is a lot of people angry at this game. A lot of people, as we clearly showed 
from you know the dislikes that were showing up all over YouTube, you know, trailers for Assassin's Creed Shadows. But you would really think, Henrik, that more gamers would be mad at Ubisoft for still trying to push this quadruple A game <laughs> model and push for yeah, $130. Three day oh, early access, an extra mission, a few couple skins, and you get two expansions. So you're essentially only saving like 20 bucks because you're paying an additional 50 bucks on top of it. Most expansions cost 35 bucks nowadays, 40 bucks. So like I don't know. You would think that more rage would be sent that way. And it's unfortunate because even people were trying to go on Twitter. They were trying to clown this girl, Alyssa. She is the lead writer on Assassin's Creed Shadows. And they're trying to say, yo, this was written by a white liberal girl. She goes by pronouns. Yeah, I might not necessarily always understand this whole philosophy. But, dude, if she writes a badass story, she writes a badass story. Why can't we just start judging shit by the actual gameplay and story instead of a CGI trailer? Yeah. Oh, it just... The substance it, to it, which we substance. haven't been shown yet. <laughs> Come and on, trust me, we are, I, and If they tell the story horrendous and, you know... We will definitely clown it, but you know, let us know, gamers, how you guys vibing with this game. You know, I'm really curious. You know, we got a lot of conversations where you know we even have oh our own host saying black. Oh no, no, someone literally wrote here. We might as well show it up. My favorite Assassin's Creed to date is Black Flag. I think I would definitely <laughs> agree with you. The one, and I true agree with that. Father. It is goaded. And that's why it's it's always very disappointing when we talk about Skull and Bones. But hey, we're not here to talk about that. We've already clowned them in the past.